Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Bhuma Shweb. Welcome back. If you are working with Simmons PCS seven and want to know how to set up a tag logging or tag historization for process data, you are in the right place. In this video, we will walk through everything you need to know about configuring the tag logging in the PCS seven step by step. So let's understand the basic concept. What is a process data? The process data is referred to the analog or digital values that are getting from the sensors or the process transmitters to process control system. It is used to control or visualizing the process. The PCS7 process control system provides the option of archiving or historizing various data that is produced during process operations. This data include process values that are stored typically are stored cyclically in two different type of system archives. So the type one uh, of archiving system is the archiving or the short term and type two is long term archiving. Archiving or the short term system data is stored in the operator stations or OS servers and long term archive system data is stored on an operator on a separate process historian, PH server, or center archive server, or CAS. Let's understand the tag logging or tag historization concept with practical example. So, suppose we have uh, one pump. Here you can see we have one pump, and our client want to historize the pump run status. This pump run, once the pump is running, our client want, suppose if I will turn on it, the pump. So here you can see the trend is changed now. So our client want, once the pump is running, in that time, uh, the run feedback or status should be stored in a historian server for the future analysis. So let's see how we can configure it. So here you can see right now, once the my, uh, pump is on, is show, the trend is showing the uh, on status, the one status. If I will put it off, it will stop the pump. So as you can see in the trend, is showing the pump is status off okay so actually by default the historization or tag logging is off in the uh, uh, pcs7 suppose here you can see right now is showing online if i will click it here to uh, uh, toggle between the archive data so here you can see we are not getting any single archive data suppose if i want to fetch from last uh, 10 minutes data so here you can see i'm not getting any data and if i will switch back to online mode the same my trend is removed now so let's see how we can configure it in the pcs7 uh, this pump run status for the future analysis so i will close it So I will use the same project that we already created our previous tutorial. I will use the same. So here I have the pump one. I will open the pump one chart. So pump one chart is open. This we already created in our previous tutorial. So we want to historize this tag, the motor start tag, this one. So I will right click object property.
Okay, click here in iOS and then search the start tab. So here you can see the structure and we are looking this start dot value. So if you bring it here, you can see archive and here is showing no archive because we want this start dot value. So it's showing no archive. So here you can find it two options as I explained before. The archiving stands for the short term archive and the long term archive. So I will select the short term archive for this tutorial. Select it and then click OK. So click here for the compile. Select the only changes, then click OK. You can close, then click over the download. Okay. Click or compile. Click on next, 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 and compile. Successfully compile. No. So select the tag login and open it. So click here in the process value archive, then the system archive. So here you can see the same tag. If before uh, activating um, the archiving function, you will not fi find here any of the tag. But here right now you can see the your tag and tag is historizing with this uh, behavior. Okay, so you have to just make sure uh, if any of the tag you configure it, you have to just make sure here the tag is coming in the process tag area or not. If it is not coming, so it means it's not historizing, you have to recheck it. So close it and run the uh, runtime application. So runtime application is open now. Click here over the mixer. So if you click here on the pump, and click here over the trend. So as you can see right now, uh, our pump is stopped. So I will run the pump. So click here and start and press OK. So here you can see now the value is true. The pump is running now and now I will stop the pump and now you can see the pump is stopped now.
So right now the view is online view. I will click it here to uh, check the archive view. Click it here. And I will select here the time duration. Suppose uh, last 10 minutes. And click OK. So here you can see in last 10 minutes the value is stored now. Now suppose if I will turn off my all of the pop up and I want to see the old uh, my historical data, I want to analysis the pong uh, which time the pong was started. So I have to move it from here online to archive mode. So click it here. So here it's loading from the archive, this all data, and then I have to specify the time. For example, I will select last 10 minutes and click over here the OK. And here you can find it okay, which time the value was true pump was start at which time. So Alhamdulillah, we learned in this tutorial video how we can configure a digital tag uh, in the historian and how we can historize the digital signal in the historian or the uh, process archive. So thanks for watching this video.